The name of this cheese plate is Walking in a Winter Wonderland. When you think of winter, you think of kids playing in the snow, frost, perhaps a good fire burning in the fireplace, and comfort food, food, food that warms you up. Well, cheese is certainly one of those things, and we featured four of our cheeses that will certainly warm you up, it will give you great flavor, and perhaps a little reason to celebrate with your loved ones. The four of these cheeses are some of our favorites, starting with the La Aviateur. This is made by Rosar in northern France. It is actually named after the gentleman who was the first one to actually lift off the ground in an airplane, so to speak, in 1890. Um, thus, why the cheese is named Aviateur, and actually the field that he did that in is right next door to the factory where this cheese is now made. This is a triple crème brie, so it's going to be very creamy, buttery, a little more flavor to it, a little mushroom, earthy undertones, slightly salty near the rind. Absolutely wonderful. We think he would have enjoyed it. Next is Chef d'Or. This is a great goat cheese, perfect for a night with a glass of wine next to the fireplace. Um, as they age, they get a little drier and stronger. Definitely a full flavored goat with still that chev or softer uh, texture to them. Um, very goat-like in its herbal, vegetal flavors. Really nice and the size is perfect for sharing. Next is Sole Gran Queso. This is actually made by a Swiss company in Wisconsin called Rothkoss. This is a very prestigious cheese, many, many awards. It's made after the Manchego style, however, it's cow's milk. It has a beautiful, bright orange rind that is absolutely stunning. This cheese has hints of lemon and a little bit of sharpness to it. Absolutely wonderful for maybe eating and snacking on and then grating it up over pasta or something warm, even into a nice warm soup like minestrone. Next is Roaring Forties Blue. This is from the other side of the world, from Australia, named after the winds that blow there that create a salty air that supposedly make the grass a little bit saltier and that comes through in the milk of these cheeses. Absolutely beautiful with its thick blue wax which allows it to travel quite well the long distance to get to us here. It is actually sweet, nutty, kind of butterscotchy flavor but compensated with a very strong blue saltiness as well as a little bit of crystallization in the texture so it's a little crunchy, not 100% smooth, although it is spreadable. With the four of these, you are sure to get warmed up and to enjoy a nice winter evening. So come on by and try a couple new ones.